The jungle has many seasons. This, for example, is the hot season. You can tell because the hippos are melting. And this, as you may have guessed, is the rainy season, followed, of course, by shark season, which is itself followed by clean season, and then flying mud ball season, which is the harbinger of the worst season of all, fire nado season, or, as George so quaintly calls it, Months later. Here, Birdie Bird. I just want to give you kisses with the inside of my mouth. Here, Magnolia, Olia. Ursula just want to give you. What? George, we need food and we need it fast. <laughs> okay, George, go for snacks. George, just say we eat George. Uh, no. George say. That's very nice, George. <laughs> you don't want to eat George. <laughs> One George not be enough for everyone anyway. Stay here where it's safe. George gets snacks. But it's too dangerous out there. It's too dangerous in here. Back zippy flash. George, watch out for the... <laughs> Fire needle. <sighs> huh? Where is George? Wow! Well, this is delicate. How does a narrator break the news to his main character that he's, well... Just spit it out already. Down here, kiddo. In the puddle. Ah! Rowley and I! Rowley and I! Name's Lumpy Joe, actually. And I'm here to show you around Fine Halla, the heavenly home of the greatest kings and queens the jungle has ever known. No kidding, right? These are all the kings and queens who came before you, buddy. Queen Rubberarm's the throwiest. Ain't nobody throw an angry monkey further than her. Like two miles, whoosh! <laughs> King Vegas, the stylish. Hair that could stop a charging rhino in its tracks, and did. King Bodang Slammer, the strongest. He moved the river to save his jungle when everyone was all thirsty, and then moved it back real fast to save him from drowning. Queen Ice Veins, the bravest, she tamed the jungle while wearing a dress made of raw pork chops. King Turfburner, the fastest, he raced lightning and won. See, he just went to France and back. And I'm King Lumpy Joe, the very first king of the jungle. Come on up and take your rightful place among the greats, Georgie boy. George, very honored. He always try hard to be good king of jungle. So, what's your story? Tell us, and we'll carve it up on these pillars here for eternity and stuff. Well, friend's very hungry, so George go for snacks and step into Fire Nado. <laughs> Ouch. <gasps> king George who went for snacks and got burned to a crisp? Yep. <laughs> Get back to the living. And don't come back till you've done something great, you no good bum. Now? For the tenth time, no, we're not eating him. Rats! Hey, George, go to Crazy Vine Hollow Place with other kings and queens. They tell George he not great king. They say his bum no good. <laughs> What? George, you're a fine king. Remember when you rescued Dennis? Who else would give a skunk mouth to mouth? <laughs> and what about that time you saved Jerry? Who else is strong enough to give a giraffe the Heimlich? <laughs> 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 
Only the great ape knows how he accidentally swallowed Dennis. And you rescued everyone here from the fire nado. And right now, you're protecting me from this hungry mob, right? Nobody eat Magnolia. That's not okay. George Wright. She too stringy. See, you're a great king. At least that's what we'd say if we weren't going to starve. No worry, no worry. George has idea. He get food and prove he great king to find Hala. Just need to be brave like Queen Ice Veins. Queen who? George, wait! <laughs> George smell good. You gotta do something great, not stupid. Huh? I told them they could eat your legs, but they had to stop at your knees. Hmm. Braveness not enough to be great, King. This time, George, be brave and run fast like King Turf Burner. <laughs> Cats have nine lives, but I'm afraid George might be pushing it. Ursula, afraid he'd get too dry and chewy. <laughs> Problem obvious. Need to be brave and fast and have great hair like King Vegas. George, hairspray and fire don't. <laughs> George, stop this madness. You'll never make it through the Fire Nado alive. Ape, right. George must put out Fire Nado. And everyone have snacks, and George will be great king. So George, be strong, like King Bodang Slammer. George, you can't wrestle fire. Ursula, like hers, medium rare. Go. Keep this up and you'll wind up for all the bad jungle kings and queens go. No. George don't want to go to find Hella. <laughs> George, stop! Your brain's been overcooked! <laughs> Fighting a fire nader with your bare hands isn't a sound strategy! Ape right! Fighting is bad! George will eat fire nader! George, I don't know where you're getting all these terrible ideas, but stop! You're not being yourself. Ape right. So, what would George do? Instead of fighting, George make friends with Fire Nado. George would be kind-hearted enough to befriend a fire nado. Then again, there isn't much left to burn. It's amazing. Aw, he's even taking Bernie canoeing. Bernie, you smell something? Congratulations, Georgie boy. You finally pulled off a feat worthy of a place in Vinehalla. You will be known forever as King George the Trickiest. Trickiest? But George not tricky. Pretending to be friends with a fire nado so you can lure it into the river. What's sneakier than that? But George really is best fire friend with Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> what next? Card night with the wind? Bowling with the air? <laughs> no, listen to them, Bernie. George always be friends. You want try on King Hat? Who let that fire in here? So somebody put that thing out. You 
no good bum! George, you're alive! <sighs> we were so worried. Maybe George not strongest, smartest, bestest, or even have best hairdo, but he promised to be king of jungle with biggest heart. Already accomplished, my friend. Me coming, Jerry! Oh, oh, me coming, Dennis! If you're like me, you probably think, man, it'd be great to be a gorilla, lounging around the jungle eating bananas whenever you want, and don't get me started about all that amazing body hair. Lush. But some apes have it hard. I'm awake! I'm up! Oh! Ah! George? George, time to get up! Uh, George don't want to get up! <laughs> oh, little me trapped in metal! Ape, George can feed himself! Ah! Uh, frog? Oh, Super big. No, George, the frog is close. Now, it's just further away. Frog shrink! How it goes so tiny! <gasps> frog magic! <sighs> hmm, that's a serious snake jam. We'll have to untangle it and... Uh, ape? Help? <sighs> I'll get the soapy water. Ape! Ape! George need you! How did you get a bucket stuck on your head? <laughs> How else George know if it fits? Uh, George no likey! It's just a spoon. There's no little George in it. Ah, little George scared too! Everything okay, George? George can't find way out! Turn the door handle, George. Tiny room filled with water! <sighs> Those were the taps, George. <laughs> what do you mean you just lost it? How do you lose your arm? <laughs> it looking at me. It's meatloaf, George. I make it for you every Thursday. <laughs> it alive? It's not alive. Then where it go, huh? Ah. Uh... It go home to meet friends, plan revenge. And then the good jungle King George lived happily ever after. Good night, George. Good night, It's not that I'm sad, it's not that I'm mad, it's just that I wonder if I've sometimes been had. Just like a flower, I need room to grow, just like the wind, I need space to blow. A brain needs to think, a skunk needs to stink, but I'm like a pen that's run out of ink. I only have one question, but it's more than essential. I wonder, just I wonder, am I living up to my potential? Potential! Potential! <sighs> what? No, no, no. That'll never work for a trip to Mars. You'll be pulled into Jupiter's gravity well. <laughs> there. Much better. Hmm. Knight takes queen in six. Ah! Checkmate. 
Now that's a pickle. But if you solve for the square root of x, then it's just an, an inverse, inverse polynomial. polynomial. Ah! Whoa, hold on. It's okay. I just want to talk to someone with an IQ in the triple digits. I mean, have you seen Cuspid? Gotta love him, but he's basically a walking display of my failure. I figured maybe we could... Uh, are you asking me out? Just to hang out and talk about smart stuff. I don't know. It's a stupid idea. One condition. No evil. No goody-goody stuff either. Pinky swear. So, do you like hyper chess? Never heard of it. Kidding. I invented it. <laughs> that we'd have the same favorite noble gas. <clears throat> <laughs> Where Ape been? Oh, you know, the jungle. Ape missed George drowning cereal, and lake on fire, and bathroom swim, and bedtime story. George even do meatloaf night himself. <laughs> Argon. Oh, what happened here? Oh, Doc, oh my gosh, thank goodness you're back. There was an imposter, but don't worry, Got him good. Where were you anyway? You missed video games and flossing. <laughs> and my birthday. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I was out counting trees. You know, one, two, three. <laughs> Wait, trees can't count. Hey. There's more than one, two, three trees in the jungle. What's going on? Maybe a death laser? You promised no evil. How about an eco tank that shoots out trees? Ew, that's so goody goody. I'm getting covered in brownie points just thinking about it. Hmm, if you've got a better idea of what to build this afternoon. Giant robot? It's a classic. Too easy. Make it a giant robot octopus and I'm in. Done. We've got about an hour until Cuspin and George accidentally set something on fire, so that's more than enough time. Hey, how could you? Doc, why I never? Your doctor right. stole my ape! Your ape stole my doctor! What do you do about it? What are you going to do about it? I don't know! <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we should work together and teach them a lesson! Yeah, but with who? And done. 48 minutes. Not bad. Who wants to take her out for a scuttle first? We know Ape and Doctor's secret. Yeah, we know it all. Cuspid, get out of there this minute. George, come down and I'll explain everything. No. Not till Ape and Doctor make up the George and Big Tooth thing for lying. Please. Forget it. No problem. It's only right. Oh, <laughs> 
death laser? That's evil, you weaselly little cheat! <laughs> <laughs> something quickly! Our two idiots will explode themselves! And so, to save their best pals, Ape and Dr. Chicago quickly came up with an incredibly smart plan. A plan so brilliant, so ingenious, so incredible, that it was far too smart for our writers or artists to think up or draw. <laughs> Not too close for George. No kidding. I'm gonna need at least three fillings. We're just glad you're safe, ish. You know, George tests the limits of my intellect every single day. It's true. Without Caspin, my life would be far too easy. <laughs> Better, but too easy. Oh. Plus, you and I are too different to stay friends. Tree planting? Death lasers. Enemies again? <laughs> <laughs> How did you get a bucket on your head again? 